Let us study exotic and indigenous cow breeds from scientific and analytical angle now. Even though there are many exotic cattle breeds in India, HF and Jersey are very common. Taxonomically, they belong to Bos Taurus group. They are docile in nature and trouble for feeding or milking is very less. These breeds have developed in cold, temperate conditions. Sweat glands are small and less in number. Hence, it cannot tolerate high temperature of our tropical climate. Due to its big body and mild nature, it soils the body with dung and urine if the flooring is not good. Hoof is soft and the gap between the hooves is wide. It results in slow walking and hoof diseases. It cannot wander safely in hilly tracks and cannot run on rocky surface. These animals are best suited for stall feeding only. Mastitis and hoof decay are common if the floor of the shed is not hygienic. The Y chromosome in this boss torus is damaged during the process of evolution. This is the reason for decrease in milk yield potential and increased infertility with further generations of crossbreeding. More quantity of balanced concentrated feed is necessary for the body maintenance itself. There is less chance of total recovery if it suffers once bodily. It may lead to infertility. Teat and pores are big and hence milking is easy. But this is the reason for more chances of mastitis. Entry to the uterus inside the body remains open always, increasing the chance of infection. The milk has more amount of bad cholesterol. Vitamin A is less. Since this is A1 type of milk, it is said to be harmful in the long run for human health. Ayurvedic experts opine that the urine from crossbreed cows does not have medicinal value. The dung from stall-fed crossbreed cows has more count of pathogens than beneficial microorganisms. Crossbreed bulls are lazy in nature and are not suitable for hard work. They are almost useless. But we Indians cannot imagine sending them to slaughterhouses. Let us study the specialities of Indian cow breeds now. Taxonomically, they belong to Bos Indicus group. Majority of the breeds produce very less milk. Most of them are specially developed for hard work on the farm from centuries. Hardly 4-5 breeds produce good amount of milk. If we blame other drought breeds for less milk, it is our fault. In the olden days, milk was not a saleable product. It was not needed also. Each farmer used to have 10-20 animals. Even very less milk from 5-6 cows of the herd was sufficient for his family consumption. The amazing diversity of Indian cattle breed attracted other parts of the world from centuries. 98% of cattle population in Brazil is derived from Indian breeds like Ongol and Gir. They developed a best breed called Brahman by crossbreeding them with Jibu breed. Britain had used the genes of Indian breed Hallikar to develop resistance against foot and mouth disease. Indian breeds are very active. The disease resistance and adjustability is excellent due to their nativity. Total surface area of the skin is more due to a high hump, hanging dewlap and loose skin. Sweat glands are bigger in size and more in number. All these enable them to sweat more in hot conditions and balance the body temperature. Sticky secretion from the skin, smooth skin and short hair avoid insect pests. Oily secretion from the skin in some breeds protects them from heavy rains. Producing localized vibration on the skin is possible to avoid insect bite due to special skin musculatures. It has a long tail and a special bone arrangement at the first tailbone. 
it supports total lifting of the tail which reaches to the entire body. Small and closely situated hard hooves is good for plowing. Hoof decay is less and it can run on hard rocky surface. The bullocks can drag the cart even without putting hoof metal. Indian breeds are clever enough to sit on clean surfaces to maintain body cleanliness. Teeth and pores remain tightly closed, avoiding the chance of mastitis. Uterus opening inside the body remains closed, which minimizes infection. Overall health problems are less, reducing the usage of costly chemical medicines. Even the local herbal medicines are effective. This brings down the cost of management and maintains the purity of milk. In Indian breeds, basic metabolic rate of the cells is low. Hence, less and low quality food is sufficient for the maintenance of the body. Dry and wet grasses, tree herbage etc. are the common food for them. Even if it suffers from food shortage once, it will recover very fast totally and can conceive after getting sufficient fodder. High hump, hanging dewlap, invisible solar plexus are the specialities of Indian cow braids. It is said that all these give special medicinal value for milk, curd, ghee and urine. Bad cholesterol content of the milk is less. This milk is very nearer to human milk in composition. Hence, it is easily digestible. Vitamin A and iodine content is more. This being A2 type milk, it is good for human consumption. It is said that Panchagavya prepared out of milk, urine, dung, ghee and curd can clean our body system. According to Ayurvedic experts, it can control a few types of cancers, diabetes, ulcers, kidney disease, etc. Panchakavya is becoming popular in agriculture as a nutrient and for controlling pests and diseases. Organic farming experts say that the dung from these grazing animals contains high count of nitrogen-fixing bacteria and other beneficial microorganisms. Pathogens are very less. Cost of maintenance of indigenous breed is less. Bulls work very hard. Mortality of calves is less. Male calf is an asset. Bullocks are more useful for plowing and transportation due to their high hump, strong legs, fast walking and hard working nature. It can work for a long time without food and water. Now a good pair of Harlikar, Kilar, or Amrit Mahal breed cost 2 to 3 lakh rupees. Even the small breeds like Jawari or Mallar Gidda cost up to 1 lakh rupees. Thus, rearing male calves can bring a good income for farmers. Number of calving is more compared to exotic breeds. Indian breeds of any region can adjust to the climatic condition of any other region. All these indicate that keeping indigenous breeds is the best option for a farming system. Biogas production from dung and urine is common now. Biogas slurry is better in available nutrients compared to the original dung. Vermicompost production and sale can bring an additional profit for farmers. Sri Ramachandra Puramata Karnataka, under its Kamaduga project, has established many gaushalas in many places. It is for the conservation and development of Indian cow breeds. Here, many cow based medicinal and other products are being produced. Distilled extract of cow urine, bath scrubber, tooth powder, dupa for cleaning air, eye drop, face cream powder, etc a few among them. The brand name is Gau Ganga. There are few products for pest and disease control in agriculture. 
Indigenous cows will get more prominence if these products succeed commercially.